perfect body is no longer just a girl thing. There is disturbing new evidence that our boys are also falling prey to the glamorous images flashed across magazines, billboards, and the silver screen. A recent study found that more than 10% of our sons are supplementing their diets with shakes, powders, and pills, promising six-pack abs, rock-hard chests, and bulging biceps. Would you like to build a better body? Well, now you can. A study done for Children's Hospital in Boston found that boys who read fitness magazines are twice as likely as their peers to try these products. Those looking to gain weight were three times more likely than their peers to use supplements weekly. And weightlifting and football were the sports most closely linked to supplement use. Whether the use was self-driven, peer-driven, or coach-driven is unknown. Many sufferers point to the media as part of the problem. The intensity of the image bombardment isn't quite as bad for boys and men as it is for girls and women. But the message is the same. Thin is in. This is how you should look. If you look this way, your life will be great. are bombarded with messages about their looks. In fact, by the age of 17, your daughter will have seen more than a quarter of a million ads about how she should look. Today's TV shows, movies, and magazines, particularly those targeted to teenage girls, are built around messages suggesting they should change their appearance by diet, exercise, even surgery. The constant drumbeat, you're too fat, too thin, too short, too tall. Oh, and your nose is too big, your breasts aren't big enough, and your butt? Forget about it. Yeah, 
on getting out of here. Catch me up on getting out of here. More to the point I need to show how much I can come and go. All the plans fell through and put a heavy load on you. I know there's no more that need be said. When I'm reaching through your bed, take a look around instead and watch me go. Come along because I love your face.